Ева ти Донска ти направо избири рибата. What's up guys, so in this video I'll catch up with you on what I've been doing since I posted the last video about the Davis Cup in November. At the time when I was editing the video, I was finishing off my year playing 15k futures tournaments in Greece. During those tournaments, my older brother Mike came to join me to help me start preparing for the ATP Cup which was starting in the beginning of January where Bulgaria qualified due to our number one racket Grigor Dimitrov. Grigor Dimitrov wins the biggest title of his career! Now for a quick bio of my brother, he was the first player in the family and ever since I started playing he was involved in my tennis. He graduated with a degree in kinesiology and on top of coaching me, he also helps me a lot with my fitness. One, go. After the tournaments were done, we went back to Canada with him and we continued my physical preparation over the Christmas holidays. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand. To the fire, but it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through Sydney came around the corner very quickly, and this being my first time there, I was very excited. My agent and I traveled 24 hours to get to this beautiful place and almost immediately went out exploring. In the days that followed, I finally got to meet and play with Grigor Dimitrov and it turns out he's a really chill guy. I worked on my volleys, where he gave me good feedback on my net game, specifically on my movement. After tennis, we usually went for a light fitness, just to maintain our shape. As the start of the ATP Cup was getting closer, each team was asked to draw symbols that best represent their country. I drew the lion, which is on our crest on our flag, and made our captain proud. Next, the tournament organizers took us to the North Sydney Olympic Pool for promotional purposes. This place was beyond beautiful, as it had a perfect view of the harbour bridge and the city. That was for sure one of the highlights of the trip. The event finally got underway and the matches resembled a suspenseful thriller. In our first encounter we went up against Great Britain. Grigor Dimitrov got the win against Evans while Kuzminov lost a three-setter to Nori. The decider doubles match turned into an international sensation when our doubles team Grigor Dimitrov and Lazarov managed to pull off a major upset beating the legend Jamie Murray to take out Great Britain. A sensational performance. A win for the Bulgarians. 
The second tie was much easier than the first with a score of 2-1 where we both won our singles but lost the doubles. On the decisive tie against Belgium, Kuzminov won his singles against Tarsis. Grigor lost surprisingly against Gauvin who played an unbelievable match and later Dimitrov and Lazarov gave everything they had but unfortunately lost in a tight third set tiebreak. And like that, Bulgaria lost the opportunity to play in the quarterfinals. But regardless, our small and beautiful country finished ninth in this international event, which is an astonishing result for us, and I was happy I was a part of it. So that's a wrap for Australia, the emotions and experiences uh, of the first ATP Cup in history are going to stay with me for a very long time. I'm grateful for Grigor Dimitrov uh, for all the advice and um, insights of the game he shared with, with us and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. I love reading your comments. If you have any insight, I would like to hear about it. Um, there is still the code OL15 you could use uh, for the 15% discount on all the hydrogen products. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way.